So guys, Nike is still pulling their weight in the affordable shoe line. Like the Downshifter 13 versus Downshifter 12, they have also upped their game in the Quest 6 compared to the previous version, the Quest 5. The latest model has a better upper, more cushion, and generally more comfort. But that is not even the best part. Hello guys, still your man Dr. C.Y. the running dog and thanks for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, please support the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And if you like the contents of this video, do not hesitate to also click the like button so that this video can be shown to more people. Now, back to these shoes. What I like more in the new shoes compared to the previous version is the new upper. While the upper in the Quest 5 is thicker, firmer and more abrasive, these are soft, you know, molds better around the feet and also has an inner sock liner that really feels cool. Notice the Quest 6 branding on the tongue. The tongue is also thick and soft, you know, giving nice comfort under the laces. This is complemented by the thick, soft padding around the collar and the heel counter, overall giving a secure and comfortable feeling around the ankle. So definitely better upper comfort in the new version. Notice loads of holes in the toe box and on the sides, ostensibly for breathability, but this is limited by the thick inner sock liner, so these shoes are still not very breathable. The lace cage does a nice job, the lockdown is very good with the runner's loop secured. In this fashion, the insole is gummed to the midsole. It is very thick and soft, giving a nice and plush feeling underfoot. The midsole foam in the new version is softer. Out of the box, it is soft and ready to go. Plus, they added more thickness to it too. So you have more midsole thickness that is also more forgiving. Overall, giving much better cushion than you have in the previous version, the Quest 5. The stack height is not listed on the Nike website, but I will put it around 34-35 mm. Now the shoe has a 10 mm heel to toe drop and having this shoe on your feet, you are going to feel them because they just continue urging you to roll forward as you land. Nice transitions too and the rebound is pretty decent. The arch support is good and the shoe is very stable. The outsole has nice thickness to it with good grip on dry pavement. And if you look at the pattern, notice that it also has a good bite to it. So this we also likely do well on light trails. On the scale, they weigh 314 grams between the two shoes in men's US size 11. That's within the average range for weight of daily trainers at this size. Similar in weight to the downshifter 13, you know, they are just uh, about 4 grams heavier. All put together, what you get is a very comfortable, smooth and moderately responsive ride. So now let's talk price. As at the time of recording this video, these are listed on Nike.com for 80 US dollars, which is reasonable. But outside the US, you may pay more. Example here in Saudi Arabia is selling between 428 and 475 Saudi real, a whopping 113 to 126 US dollars. But if you like the shoes, don't fret. Just give it a couple of weeks and the price will also go down. You know, the downshifted 13 started at 400 Saudi real, but now you can get that shoe for as low as 200 Saudi real. So in summary, I feel the Nike Quest 6 has significant improvements over the fifth version and I think it's a pretty decent option for any runner looking for something nice and affordable to put in their daily miles. Also, if you want to just buy these shoes and use them as casual wear, that is also cool because I think they look good, you know, better than the previous version. However, anything above $80, I cannot recommend them. So guys, that's it about the Nike Quest 6, another body shoe which I think is worth looking into. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.